Oh boy, am I excited for all of the great comments on this video talking about all the very cool things that Lego is going to do for you. Um, we're going to talk about some real cool stuff. I haven't really cleaned up my studio, so um, the Recording Pen of Destiny still does have the, the fat bands on it, but well, that's okay. We can, we can work around that. I just realized, I don't know where my number one on YouTube brick is. Anyways, let's talk about it. We're here. You saw the title. It was a misdirect. We will talk about um, Lego ideas, though, real quick. So, first off, the big news is that we got three of them. If you haven't heard somehow, three proof sets for the third review period of 2019, which it's fairly far into 2020 at this point to be doing 2019 stuff, but... Oh, well... So those are uh, Seinfeld, we're super excited about, and we'll, t we'll dabble with some, some actual excitements about it. Typewriter, um, apparently it is going to be functional or me mechanized, I guess. I don't know if it can be functional. Is it possible to be functional? Don't know. Um, and something else. Home Alone. <laughs> Who cares about a house being by itself? It's a fine movie on its own, but it doesn't need... Doesn't need a, a Lego set. Doesn't Seinfeld doesn't need a Lego set either. But at least that's something that I'm much more into than typewriters or Home Alone. So Seinfeld, I'm very excited about because we'll finally have Jerry Seinfeld, and we'll have uh, George Costanza, as well as Newman and Kramer. But like George Costanza, just oh boy, finally I can make a batting cage scene that says, "Sure, hope you wouldn't you wouldn't do that, but maybe I can make it out of Lego this time." Finally, reaction imaging for all of my internet arguments so i am excited about that and i will be getting that one question mark it depends there's things that could make me not but we're going to talk about some some subsets of the lego community and this is what the actual video is about i know we're only two minutes in and we're going to switch into the big boy topics but um on a whim on a whim i posted a picture of this red lego batman helmet and i did tag it as it did tag it as a prototype and a lego leak um or an unreleased or something i don't remember the, it was on instagram and basically i got several people that got a little little butthurt about about me saying this was a lego leak and don't use the hashtag because you'll end up getting blocked and stuff and like you know who doesn't add anything to the lego community and we'll don't worry i'm gonna i'm gonna defend i'm gonna defend them even because i'm a cool guy but lego leaks don't add anything to the community have i posted the actual quote-unquote lego leaks I mean, yeah kind of i've definitely posted sets that i've gotten before um official release dates i've posted um, the, the innards, the, like the catalog, when the catalog has a, in the back of the instruction booklet, it has a picture of a set that hasn't been announced or we haven't gotten a picture of yet. I've, I've posted it and I've posted it under Lego leaks and they get some, uh, they get a dozen likes or something, but then someone steals it. And am I mad about people stealing my images? Eh, a little bit. I'd rather them like link to my post and say, Hey, this is the place that has some, some good info, but you know, not even let's pretend that I'm not even thinking about that, what does posting a Lego leak do for the community? And the answer is minimal, very, very minimal. If you actually have a legitimate like reason that you need, you need those Lego leaks, please tell me, please let me know what that need is. But basically the only thing is, is like, if like when wave two of the, the play pods was coming out, you knew that there was going to be a second wave. You weren't in love with any of the first wave. Maybe 3D movies are your jam. So you wanted to wait for the wave two movie version one. And so you could get that 3D printed glasses on Mia. And so you saved your $10 that you would have spent on the wave one. And then you got the wave two. And like, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. You've saved your money and then got a Lego set. But really what you should be thinking is, I don't like this Lego set enough to pull the trigger. Maybe I'll wait and see if another one comes along. Uh, I, I, man, I sure did. I'm, I'm thinking about buying that Hall of Iron, man, because it's now retired and, and cool. And oh boy, would that be a, a thing that I want? Because I want every variation of Iron Man's suit. 
um, to be able to display. But then there's this new one that came out. So if there hadn't been the leak, you could be like, well, I didn't know about it and I wasted my money on a retired set when a comparable version is coming out for retail and it'll probably even be on sale below that or with some kind of promotion or something from Lego, whereas it's definitely not going to be on any kind of special now that the thing's been retired. The old one is not going to be on any kind of special. But even then, the thought is still, if you want the set, buy it. If you don't want the set, wait for something you do want. And yeah, that's hard and we, we're not all good at that and I'm definitely not good at that. Um, I bought a set because I, I recently bought the, the Taiga biome Minecraft set because because it had a special box. This this plastic is literally the same, but the box that it came in was special. So like, yeah, cool. Impulse control and stuff. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm for it. But the LEGO Elite community doesn't do anything. It doesn't add anything to the greater LEGO community. And really, it, I want to say praise on people praise on this hype oh my gosh there's all this cool hype because there's a new new iron man set coming out and you've got people that are actually hyped about it and that's fine but you've got people that are getting swept up in the hype because other people are saying that it's hype and then what do you do you link to your youtube channel where you don't post lego leaks or maybe you do and you kind of leech off of the hype of reposting images because of that so back to the original thing is that there were a couple people telling me, oh, it's not rare a prototype. It's just from a polybag set. And yes, I literally did link in my bio the review to the set. So the joke was that I knew that and I did not explain it to people, which is fine, I think. Um, I did make comments back at them telling them they were wrong. But again, they very easily could have watched the video and such. And then one person said they did watch the video, I believe. Um, and then followed me from it and then was like, please don't use the leaks anyways. And I said, you wouldn't have found me if not for that leaks, to which someone else replied, it's just a good way to get blocked. And honestly, if you don't like my content and you didn't enjoy the joke or the joke went over your head or you only want leaks, block me. I don't add anything of value to the leaks community because there's nothing of value to be added. So if you're going to say, oh, Pro Lego Channel, you don't you don't con you're not you're not doing anything i don't want to see you please 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 block me get me out of your life unsubscribe um don't come here with that weak sauce if you see the post and i think a lot of people did because it did fairly well they saw a red a red batman cow and they knew that's not not a thing but they know my sense of humor and they saw the caption saying that it was rare and cool and there's a link in the bio and maybe they watched the video. Maybe they didn't. I don't care. But they liked the post at the very least because they were like, that is funny adjacent to my funny bones. My sense of humor is warped and skewed from years of internet culture. And I do find that entertaining. And that's the people that I want here. The people that, that can take a joke and be like, just because a piece is red, molded in red, doesn't mean it's prototype. You see people posting things all the time. And there's no way to, to verify if prototypes we're going on a tour rant on this real quick if a prototype piece is a leak or a a, a prototype at all or an un, un, a non-production piece really um unless <sighs> let me let me see real quick i don't think i've got them here um i'm pretty sure i put them somewhere else i have some non-production color um mugs and um the, the sconce the torch holder um, oh, I know where one is. Hang on. Um, so it's in my tavern that I'm still working on, but... Um, no, no, it's not. Where the hell did I put that one? Anyway, I have a brown... Here, here it is. A brown mug. That's a non-production piece. Um, <clears throat> let me move in here. I couldn't find it. Sorry about the weight. Um, I'm not going to edit the video. That's cool and easy to do. Why, why would I do that? Um, this is a brown. It's old brown um, non-production color of this mug. It's a standard mug at any point. At literally any point. Except for this one's old brown. Lego could produce that in new brown. Um, here's a new brown piece that I have just sitting by. And you can definitely see the variation in the color. The other one, the, the mug is a good bit darker. Um, the newer one is a little bit more reddish more orange colored than than this one but that's not the point the point is 
that they cannot make it because it's an old color that they don't make anymore and then they can't you know they could make it in brown though anytime there they could come out with a wooden mug and that's what i wanted the look of the wooden mug and it was on bricklink as a piece that someone was selling and i had no guarantee that it was from lego i still don't um down in there this is this is going to be real darn hard to get can i do it with this flashlight Eh, no, you can't. You're not going to be able to see it because of the way the lighting is. Um, I'm just not going to be able to get the lighting in this room. Oh, you can just see some of the letters of Lego. Anyways, there it is. There's the word Lego on it. Does that guarantee that it's real? No, it could be molded from something else. On the bottom, there's no, no kind of like uh, batch numbers or anything. Which, Well, let's find out, shall we? Yeah, so here's the here's the real one, uh, in red, and again in there you can you're gonna just you're not gonna be able to see it with the lighting. I'm sorry about the lighting in my studio not being able to light the inside of the cup, but on the bottom there you can see there are um, there's a mold mark on this one, and there's not on this one. Where's the mold mark? Um, the injection point is nowhere on the brown one. It's weird. Yeah, I don't know how they did that. And then on uh, on the sides of the injection point, there is, um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see them, but there's there are numbers, there's information there. Um, if I take it and look at it with my bare eye, it is 4 and 05 are the numbers on there. On here, there's just nothing underneath there. It's smooth, completely smooth. So is this a fake? Maybe. Um, am I going to count it as real? As far as I know, it is. But the point being is that there's no guarantee that anything is real or fake. This could be a production piece, a uh, non-production piece, just as easy as it could be a real piece. It could be a prototype, just as easy as it could be a production copy. There's no way to know. And I think people see a colorful brick um, and they say, that's that's obviously not production. That's This is rare and cool and Lego. But not to say it's not, and not to say that it's not documenting a piece of Lego history. I do think that there's value in documenting Lego history of pieces that may have never gotten made or pieces that were made in a different color. Why was this made in brown? Were they going to include this in a castle set as a wooden mug for, for ale, but they decided to use a red one or a yellow one instead? I have no idea. I could not tell you, but as a collector, I find that interesting. And as a Lego person, I find it interesting. So I have it, but that's, I've definitely lost track of the point. The point being is that if you don't understand that this isn't, and if you can't see the parody of me posting this red one instead of the brown one and saying unreleased rare Lego colors, um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with you not being here. And um, am I am I talking to people that agree with me? Probably, probably. Do I want your guys' input? Please do. I really do want to hear if you can name something of value that the leaking community and the reposting prototype pieces community, not the necessarily like documenting. If they're if you're documenting the unreleased and prototype and such Lego pieces, there's value there. There's definitely value there. It's not it's not the most value, but it's good. It's good. Fine. Um, it's kind of similar to my opinion on hauls, as I do hauls. Um, they are very much easier than making something original, um, and they're even easier than building a, a set. You don't even have to open it. You just have to have it in your possession, and then you can be like, look at this thing that I bought. And anyways, um, I think we've talked enough about this. I've gotten most of my points across. I might make a follow-up video for this, not for the Lego Ideas thing. And obviously, I'm a day late on the Lego Ideas thing, so I don't think I'm going to trick many people into watching this entire full video. So if you are here, please do comment that you've made it to whatever timestamp it is, and um, I will heart your comment if I remember I'm doing that. Anyways, I'm going to put an automatic video still, and there will be ads in this video. In the middle is a subscribe, and over on my guy, hey, it's my guy, um, uh, is a video that I handpicked for you, and I do appreciate you guys just letting me vent. It makes me feel good. Maybe it makes you feel good. Maybe you're like, yeah, he's right, and maybe you're like, um, actually, I am unfollowing you, and if that is your opinion, thank you. Please like.